Hey, this is Lorena, and I wanted to do a really fun, uh, easy tutorial that anybody could do. It uh, doesn't really matter your age or how skilled you are with your sewing machine. I just thought this would just be really neat. You can even do these without having a sewing machine, but I'm using a sewing machine because, of course, I'm a sewer. But, um, so let me show you what I wanted to do. So, a, a friend of mine made me one, um, one of these little things, and I thought it was just adorable. So I asked her, like, where the hell did you get this ribbon stuff? And she told me she got it at Hobby Lobby somewhere. Now, in my Erin Condren organizer, it came with its own. I think I had to buy these. I had a set of two of them. Um, and I really love the way it holds my, my book together. I love the way I could section certain things. But so she saw my Erin Condren and she said, you know, as a gift, I want to give this to you. And I love this. I think it's just the neatest gift that she made me so what I decided to do is I wanted to make my own you know make your own and so what I did is I went to the store and I found some really pretty ribbon and I was looking through my drawers and I wanted to do something for my own and just make it so different and unique and when I went to the store I got myself this ribbon uh, just a pure solid and I found myself um, these beads and I love the beads and of course because I love beads I found these beads and I wanted just to see what I could do with them and how I can embellish even just the ribbon and make it different. And I want to thank Miss Jeanette Jones for um, just blessing me with it and also giving me some really neat ideas of what I could do. So here comes the tutorial, okay? I'll see you next time. Well, we're going to the tutorial. Yeah, we're going to the tutorial. Okay, these are the supplies that you're going to need to make one of these. You need some stretchy ribbon, and this is called decorative trim. Um, this decorative trim I got at Hobby Lobby. They also have some with gold and silver on top of the color. I think it's beautiful. And they also have a glitter solids. Now this, uh, the glitter solid was, I think, $4.99. And the solid right there that I'm showing you was $2.99. But at Hobby Lobby, everything was 50% off. Now I got this mix and mingle, and they're called bead pin. And what you could do is you could put your beads in here, and you unscrew that little uh, circle that I'm screwing. And uh, the beads fit through, and you can interchange them. And so it's from Mix and Mingle Dar Darus. The rice, I think I'm saying it wrong, but um, and so here's other beads that they have. This company has, I got these at Joann's now at Joann's in the same area. I also saw these beads from Inspiration, beads from Inspiration. And what I loved about these is it had some bigger, bolder pit beads. The only thing is, is not all the beads were able to go through that bead pin. So what I just showed you is my measuring tape, and I measured my um, stretchy trim. I measured it 16 inches wide. And here in that loop, I went ahead and just put the trim through, as you see there. And then in a minute, I'm going to go to the sewing machine, and I'm going to sew that trim. Here I'm showing you the two pieces completely straight and aligned, and I'm going to turn them in to where the... Uh, the glossy areas kissing each other and I'm going to the sewing machine and I sewed one way through. Now I'm going to straighten it out make sure it's all straight and now that I'm sewing on the very top and I'm sewing forwards and backwards so I'm locking in that stitch. So what you sewed initially you're not going to see that open ribbon. And then I'm going to also show, sew uh, where <laughs> um, where that loop is and this locks that bead pin in so it doesn't move around the ribbon and it stays secure in one position and here I'm showing you the two areas that I sewed and then initially you're kind of done now you get to pick the beads that you like and the color variation that you like and so here I pick three beads a big one and two small ones and I'm going ahead and starting to screw that bead pin on to that little section that's connected to the ribbon now for me because I have big hands I had to kind of just um, work at it but I'm sure it's really not that hard you can use glue to lock this in so they don't un a screw on you but I kind of like the chance that later on if I got bored I could change and interchange uh, the color variation or just change it up if I wanted to and 
Now I'm going to go to my Erin Condren. The neat thing about these is you could use them for any book. Any book that you're reading, college book, study book, your journals, whatever you wanted, you can make them for that because you determine the size and you measure the size. And what I just did is I just measured the size of the book. And here you see me just dividing different days of the month with my beads. And here is what it looks like closed. Now on the top you see a peach one where I didn't do the bead pin. I just put a bead on uh, that ribbon and just sewed the end of it. So you can even make it simpler than I did. These are what the beads look like on your organizer or if you used your book. I really do hope you liked this tutorial. It was a lot of fun to make and I hope I see you next time. Have a wonderful day.